Hello everyone, it's Jesse from FPSSquared.com. On today's episode of Old Games, we're going to be looking at Galaga. Uh, Galaga is absolutely one of my favorite games. It's one of the best games ever made. One of the best video games of all time. It's actually an arcade game. Um, if you, you probably guessed that just looking at it. But um, it's an arcade game that came out in 1981. It was developed by Namco and was distributed by Midway in North America. Um... It's good. It's, I mean, one of my favorite games of all time. It's a sequel to one of the worst games of all time called Galaxian. Uh, that came out in 1979, I believe. And just really bad. Um, granted, I've never played Galaxian actually in a cabinet, um, but I've played it in a few of those Namco collections. And it's just so slow and not paced as well. And it's really boring, quite frankly. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that like Galaxian and think it's an okay game. Or some people even think it's a great game, but I have never been a fan of Galaxian. But luckily, they got it right the second go-around. Um, this game is great. And actually, uh, let's go ahead and start a game here. Uh, we're playing on the PS4. Uh, this is the PS4 version. I think you can buy this for like five bucks, if not less, but it's a pretty good deal. Um, but um, forgive me, these first couple of games are just going to be throwaways while I talk about it. Um, I've never actually played on a cabinet. Uh, or, well, I hadn't actually played on a cabinet until just last year. Uh, last summer, I was at a bar, and a bar happened to have a Galaga cabinet. And I played it, and of course I had played it so much on just different things. I've had it on a Game Boy SP. Game Boy Advance SP, I've had it on a PSP, I've had it on, I've got it on my 3DS via uh, Virtual Console NES version, and I've got it on Switch, and I've got it on PS4, <laughs> so I've played this game quite a bit, I have a lot of experience, but just recently I actually got to play it on a cabinet. And the high score was only like a hundred something thousand. It was less than what my, if you look up there, that is my high score on PS4 version. Um, and it was less than that. And I almost beat it on my first go, but I had a few drinks in me. And unfortunately, it just, I got to like a hundred thousand and needed a hundred four thousand. But yeah, it was good. Um, I wish I, could, I wish I had more experience with it on the cabinet. Uh, not that, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but um, just to get that cool arcade feel. I wish I could play this game more on a cabinet, but it's hard to find nowadays. That one bar is the only place that I know of that has it. It's like 45, 50 miles from my house, so I don't go out there too regularly. But, um, yeah, I've sunk so many hours in this game. I'd say this is probably... I mean, it's got to be, in terms of hours played, one of my most played games of all time. It's just a game that I can always come back to and enjoy. Um, I'm going to hit 20,000. So, yeah, if you don't know, it, after 20,000 points, you do get an extra ship. And that's appropriate because I just lost my ship. <laughs> so. And um, I think I think it's time to go ahead and these guys give you extra points if you shoot them. I was going to say, I think it's about time to just start a new game and actually just explain, like, how it's played, but I i can't believe I did that. I swear that wasn't on purpose. But, um, yeah, that's good anyway, because I wanted to start a new game and kind of explain a few things. Now, this is actually, I actually figured out how to get the double ship and I'll show you what that means if, or I'll show you what that means in a second if you don't know what that is um, but I managed to get the double ship and I just figured that out by playing I've played this game so much that I just randomly discovered that which isn't something that I usually do in a lot of games um, you know it's not like the game tells you that you can get a double ship I just figured that out and I was always proud of that <laughs> um, but Anyway, let's start a new game, and I'll show you guys what I mean by the double ship and everything. I've got like the first ten levels memorized in terms of... used to be a lot more than that, uh, but in terms of like where the enemies come from and where to shoot and things like that. 
That used to be probably the first 20 levels when I used to regularly be able to get up to 20, which I cannot anymore, unfortunately. I'm going to try to beat my high score, but... And this is just like Banjo-Kazooie, or no, wait a minute, that was Diddy Kong Racing. Just like Diddy Kong Racing, I'm going to have to be kind of quiet while I play that, but that's okay. Y'all don't want to hear me talk anyway. Okay, so to get the double ship, you have to get captured. And again, I know most of y'all probably know this, but just in case you're a viewer that doesn't know, if you let your fighter get captured, and you'll see in just a second what you have to do after that, as he's coming down, if you shoot... Well, I missed him. My accuracy was never the best in this game. But if you shoot him, you get another ship. Now, you have to shoot him as he's coming down. If you shoot him while he's up in formation, then you don't get the double ship. Uh, the ship that he captures just becomes an enemy like any of the others. So you want to make sure that you shoot it as it's coming down. But yeah, anyway, once you do that, you get this cool double ship, which is... I don't think I've ever been able to do stage three uh, or any of the challenging state. Oh, no! Okay, well. I was just about to say, I've never been able to do this stage with a single ship. I've never been able to actually get the 10,000 extra points. I'm going to go ahead and restart. I mean, because I want to show the game the way it's meant to be played. And I want to beat my high score, so... Let's restart here. 136, I'm not going to lie, is going to be kind of tough for me to do, so... I'm sorry if I disappoint. But yeah, you want to be sure not to... Sometimes you accidentally shoot all those guys before... There has to at least be two, I believe, before... There has to at least be two of those green guys um, that capture the ship, or else they will not try to capture the ship. There has to be at least two alive. From what I understand, that could be false, but that's what I seem to know is. I always try to hit them blue. Um, I always try to hit them once, because they take two shots to to um, to die. So I always try to shoot them one time as they're capturing me, just to make it a little easier to kill them. Which is also been a downside because I'll shoot them accidentally while they're in formation sometimes but okay do not lose my double ship here that's my goal all right that's how it's done so hopefully I'll be able to do this hopefully I'll be able to remember how to line up the ships It's going good so far. Alright. Alright. Oh, I didn't get the extra ship before the extra 10,000 points. So yeah, if you get all 40 hits, if you get all 40 ships and you get a special 10,000 points bonus, if you don't get all 40 ships, you get um, 100 points per ship you do get. So if you got 38, you would get 3,800 bonus points. So, big difference, obviously. You want to try to get them all. Because it is a max of, what, 6,100 more points? So. <clears throat> oh. I, I did that just to, just because I was on video. I would have never done that if I wasn't on video. That's okay, though. We're okay. So now I think, yeah, once stage 5 hits, or maybe even the last stage, the ships themselves will start to dive at the player, which makes it a little more challenging. Uh, but not too bad. My accuracy is amazing. Yep. Yep. That's okay. You know, I said to myself before the video starts, I'm, you know, if I don't do good, that's okay. <laughs> I'll be all right. Just trying to, to do a quick overview and explain to you guys what the game's about anyway. This is not a world record run. <laughs> I wonder what the world record 
Galagoscorius. I God damn it. Okay. So here's another challenging stage. I'm probably not going to be able to complete it. Yeah, without... Honestly, the easiest one, the easiest challenging stage that I have... Um, well, the easiest one that I think um, with a... God, I can't talk. I'm telling you, I can't talk and play the game at the same time. It's really hard. Um, what I'm trying to say is the easiest one to get a perfect score with just one ship and by that I mean the one that I've gotten closest to getting perfect score on is stage 11 with just one ship which is really weird because it seems like it would be kind of hard but it's pretty easy maybe we'll make it to stage 11 so I can show you what I'm talking about but we'll play one more game after this just because it's fun I'm just spamming X. You can probably hear it. These guys are worth 2,500 points, and I didn't get them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll play one more. We'll try to beat that high score. Just getting warmed up. So. All right. It's JB. Yep, that's me. All right, in between this, I'm going to look up real quick what the world record Galaga score is. Googling world record Galaga score. And let's see here. Kotaku says Galaga, Galaga's tournament setting world record fell again, reclaimed. Day by previous record holder Andrew Laidlaw of Washington State. Laidlaw's 4,525,150 was certified on Friday by Twin Galaxy, the world's sanctioning authority for video game high scores. And that's from January 2nd, 2011. Um, but that's the first thing that Googles. And to be honest with y'all, I'm not going to look into it that much more. So <laughs> I'll say 4.525 million is the world record Galaga score. All right, let's do another one. I'm probably gonna be quiet uh, even more so in this game, so. Okay. Cutting it close on the ones that we kept alive, but that's okay. Too, so that was a pretty good level. Yeah, on level two, I always just try to kill them as quick as possible because there's really no point. All right. Okay. All right. Still didn't get the 20,000. A lot of times, whenever you get a perfect score on that, you'll get 20,000 before you get your 10,000 points, but... Oh, well. I don't know the scoring system perfectly. I don't know why sometimes I end up with more points and certain points... Or so some points at certain stages uh, quicker than others but Whew. oh my goodness I'm glad that was on video because that was sick 
and completely lucky. All right, just a hundred thousand more points to go. Say a hundred and thirty thousand. We'll have to get to like level thirteen or fourteen, I think, to pull that off. But so this will be a long game of yeah, let go. Just one more stage, and we're at another challenging stage. Oh, and is this an easy? St this looks like this is an easy stage. I forgot stage six is kind of a br a break stage. There's a few of those. Stage ten is another one. I like they don't go as hard on you at the beginning. All right. This is by far the hardest part of it. Okay. Whew, okay. Another perfect score. This is game's going good. All right. I got three extra lives now, so. I haven't played a lot of this game on here on the PS4 oh that's our only 2,000 not 2,500 like I said earlier right, if we get past this stage stage 10 is kind of a break stage and then stage 11 is a challenging stage so we'd be set at least in terms of lives for two stages We oh shit. That's okay though. That's okay though. I may try to go for another one since I have the lives to spare. I guess stage ten is not an easy stage. See, my memory is a little fuzzy. I don't play as much Galaga as I used to, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't even see that. Well, damn, this game suddenly took a turn for the worse. Oh, no! Damn, you fucker. What the fuck? All right, so I said this is the easiest one to do with one single one earlier, and now I can prove that apparently that's not true. <laughs> eh, I'm not doing horrible. Yeah, to be fair, that is probably the best I would... That's better than I would do on stage three or seven, honestly. With just one. Alright, you know, it could happen. It could still happen. The one thing about... Honestly, a lot of times I'm happy to have lost the double guns by this point because it does make you a little more nimble. It makes it a little easier to... You know, you're not as big as a tar of a target when you're just one gun, so... These guys are hard. I'm not even going to go for him. Okay, well, it probably won't happen now, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, they start to get really fast. But then they get really slow. I don't remember. There's a break stage coming up. I wish that we could get to it. It's kind of like chess. You kind of want to stay in the middle. You definitely don't want to get trapped in the center. Damn. But, or trapped in a corner, I should say. You want to stay in the center. 
You know what, though? That was a pretty good run. Uh, I think that'll be my number two run. Oh, nope. Number three. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's Galaga. Absolutely one of the best games ever made. Um, I actually am kind of curious. Uh, the Switch is what I've been playing on recently. So I'm going to load up. You can play it via Namco Museum on the Switch. I believe it's like $20 on the Switch. So I'm just going to load it up real quick on the Switch and see. Because I think my Switch high score is higher than this because I've played it a lot more on the Switch than on the... This is... I've had the Galaga... I've had Galaga on the PS4 for probably a year and a half, two years now. And this is probably maybe the fourth or fifth time I've ever even booted it up on the PS4. But anyway, I'm loading it up right now on the Switch here. You can probably hear it. Unfortunately, I have no way of getting it, of capturing it, but... Yeah, so my high score on the Switch is 172,280. So, I just want to say that my high score is better. I think the Switch version is probably the highest score I've ever gotten to. So, 172,280, I think is what I said. That's the highest I've ever gotten. But anyway, it's a great game. I recommend you absolutely buy it. It's on like every platform imaginable. Unfortunately, it is at different prices. There's not really a way that I'd be able to tell you. Like It lets you buy just Galaga on the PS4. And I th like I said, it's like no more than $5. Um, but then there are some things, like on the Switch, if you want Galaga, you can't just buy Galaga. You have to buy Namco Museum. And to be fair, the other games in Namco Museum are good, but that'll cost you like 20 bucks. And that's usually the way you have to get it, is through a Namco Museum collection. But anyway, yeah, that's Galaga. Uh, great game. I definitely recommend you play it before you die. And on that note, we'll see you guys next time.